Mm. Okay, I feel this sucks shit. You spend so much time on your makeup and then, you know, it starts dripping and like, I don't know what's happening. Maybe I'm opening my eyes too wide. <laughs> Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about our special guest today. First, I want you to know that the show is sponsored by this new makeup palette. The purple I am wearing is from that palette. Plus, I'll show you. This is by Meatball, the drag queen Meatball, who I adore, that you might know from Dragula. I just know her from real life because she's always rummaging through my trash cans out front. But this is Hip Dot. You can find it online, all one word, hip dot, hip like what I had recently replaced because I'm so old, and dot what I have on my hands because I'm so old, liver spots, dots, hip dot, isn't that funny? No. So look at these fucking colors, ladies and gentlemen. Look at these colors. These are amazing, and I used this purple right here, which is called eggplant emoji on my eyes. And then I used the glitter, which is called wig snatch on my lips, which is probably not what you're supposed to do, but I am a rebel. And that's probably why my makeup is always, you know, smearing and dripping and falling off and causing cancer. And you know, this doesn't cause cancer. I'm just saying I'm wearing stuff for eyes on my lips. And I did put a little something extra over it because it just wasn't, you know, it's not made for lips. So I wanted it to be just a little chunkier. Anyway, you guys, this is an amazing fucking palette. You saw it. Order this palette. Meatballs Amazing Diamond Diva palette from Hip Dot. And if anybody's going to complain about me having like they're not a sponsor. They did send me that for free because I'm famous and I wear enough makeup to choke a horse. But here's my point. If you watch the Ellen show, God damn, every third word out of her fucking mouth is some goddamn fucking company that gave her a million dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, Katya is a two-time drag race loser. First on season seven and then on All Stars 2. But she was named season seven's Miss Congeniality by fans, proving that nice queens finish last. <laughs> Hello. All joking aside, she is one of my all-time favorite drag race contestants. Okay, you know what? We're never going to get through this show if I keep using long words like contestants. So let me just say she is one of my all-time favorite uh, drag race cunts. <laughs> See what I did there? Katya has toured all over the world, co-hosted her own TV show, guested on countless other TV shows, such as America's Next Top Model and Tales of the City, and she is a full-fledged movie star, if you consider Hurricane Bianca 2 a movie, which I don't. She is also a New York Times best-selling author, thanks to her new self-help book, written with her drag BFF, Trixie. Trixie and Katya's Guide to Modern Womanhood, right here. Order it today. And today's highest tipper will win this autographed copy. And as I posted earlier, if you want Trixie's autograph, you can just uh, hang out at the Del Taco uh, in Burbank, because she's, she's almost always there. I don't know what's going on, but trust me. You can just walk up and say, hey, I'll buy you two tacos if you sign the book. And she's like, okay. Um, and I don't want to be too mean to Trixie today, because I hope to have her as a guest. All right. Katya is one of those rare celebrities who, like Cher and Liza, is simply known by just her first name. I mean, let's be honest. It helps when you have a really weird fucking first name. And Anyway, she is a natural blonde and an unnatural beauty. Ladies and gentlemen, non-binaries, gender fluids, eunuchs, hims, hers, thems, and its, please welcome the one and only Katya. And now I need somebody to tell me how I get her on here. Okay, there she is. There she is. I'm all myself, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully I'm sitting in the right place so you can see both of us. Oh my God! Can you hear Katya! me? The numbers are now going to go up. Can you hear me? 
A little, sort of. Yeah. You, you, oh, it's not good though? It's not good? I mean, let's see if the audience can hear you well. I'm enough. using a microphone. Please yeah. tell me if you can hear me. To me, it doesn't sound as loud as when people just talk. Fuck my ass. Can't you just talk into it? I mean, into, without a microphone? I mean, I guess I could, hold on. You're really difficult to work with. Okay, now, how about now, how about now? That, that's good. Is that okay? Yeah, I think so. Are you sure? Audio quality is very important to me, Jacqueline. Um, I think I'm saying, oh, okay. It no. sounds like it's through a cloth. Uh, See, yeah, I told you, so the, 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 um, the microphone was better. Uh, can you just turn the microphone up? Try the I microphone think, one more time. I think I can, in fact. Is this fun? I know. Listen, this is the world we live in now. If people want I'm not, free... No, I'm being serious. I'm not oh. complaining. This is fun. This is a lot of fun. I also have my air conditioning on, and I'm ancient, so that might have something to do with the fact that I can't hear very well. Well, I have a fan and an AC on because, you know, thyroid. I'm hey, bitch, you have a fan in me. You know that. <laughs> Hold on, here we go. She puts the thing in the thing. Uh. See, you can be that close and just talk into it. Hello? Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's, let's take a poll. Hi guys, can you hear me okay? <laughs> Let's see what people say. Hold on, in the meantime, let me model my outfit. Oh, nice. Wow. Yeah, I made it. Well, I made the That's... bottom, my friend made the top. That's gorgeous. Thank you very much. Um, well, so... while people uh, tell us whether or not they can hear you okay, just a reminder, this autograph, very rare copy of this autograph book will go to the highest tipper today because times are tough. Oh, they're saying the mic isn't great. Yeah, it's so strange. It does, the whole thing sounds kind of muffled. I think you just need to sit closer to whatever you're talking into. Well, that's it. I'm just gonna use the AirPods. Okay, is this all, is that okay? That's the AirPod. Okay, maybe you should yell like I am. Jacqueline, can you there hear you me? Go. <laughs> I wanna. Yeah, people are saying it's pretty much the same with or without and that you should Woo. just sit, you should Woo. just sit, see how close I'm sitting. Woo. Yeah, but my, my mic is right here, mama. Oh, oh, I see. Do, do you have, you can't, are you doing it on your phone? Yeah, can I do it on a laptop? No, I think you can unplug the AirPod and just talk into the phone like I am. Oh, I know. Why am I telling a young person how to do this? Because Mary, I'm not young. Get it right. Okay, that's true, I forgot. Thank you. Um, let's see if I have some air. Okay, great, our time is up. Just yeah. kidding. I might have a... Um, Mental uh, breakdown? No, I'm done. I'm on a new phase. I'm on a new oh, okay, med good. program. Um, hold on, let's just walk. Let's travel. Let's travel. Um, See, oh. I'm just talking into the phone, sweetheart. So I don't Sweetie, think you need pause. Maybe don't patronize me. I'm not here to be patronized. I'm not here. I'm a guest. I don't oh want to be told. Oh my God, it just got so good. World of Wonder and Feast of Fun and all the gay websites are gonna post that You know that what, clip. Jackie, you're a fat cunt and I hate you. You know what, why don't you go fucking do drugs, you stupid bitch? You go Too kill late. yourself, Already I did. fucking hate you. <laughs> oh just kidding, don't do any of those things. And then, this is real life, mama, real life. All right, you know what? People are just going to have to listen carefully. And then, hi. How, how about that? I think that's good. That sounds great. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, you know what? We need to start. OK, let's do it. We're going to start. Hi. You look gorgeous. I feel great. All right, listen, first of all, congratulations on your new book. Yes. Thank you so much. Always the whore holding the product up. Gonna show the car and then walk around the car. 
Yeah. I want to kick you in the bumpers. Did you um, read it? Honest, honest. Did you read no, it? No, not yet. Not yet. Can I read a small excerpt at one point? I don't want to bully your show. It's your show. No, please. May I? Okay. The only reason anyone's watching is because you're here. Oh, shut the fuck up. Let's be um, honest. So uh, the real juice of it starts on page two. Okay. I, you can skip over page one. Just kidding. Um, so, Trixie, this is Trixie. Beauty. As long as I've been alive, I have known I was gorgeous. That's my favorite part. That's it? Yeah. That's it. I love it. So that, it's that kind of book. Yeah. Short and sweet. Let me say, you were, guys were number two on the New York Times bestseller list. Number two. And here's the thing, two weeks, we, we, list, we made the list for two weeks, which is a big deal because, yes, you know- Yes, it means so that people didn't just buy it and then, you know, usually they buy it and then they figure out it's a piece of shit. Right. It, and it then has it enduring, enduring right. strength and quality. Like yourself. Well, let me, say, let me ask you something. How does it feel? And before you answer, let me just say that as a card carrying member of the WGA, the Writers Guild of America, and someone who has written for over 30 years for legends like Joan Rivers, it feels bad to me. But how does it feel to you that you're now a best selling author? What? I got to tell you. What? I got to feel like, I feel like a really thing that I've been in my life. Yeah. <laughs> you're no, eating during an interview, so you're like mopping everything I do now. <laughs> okay, great. Answering questions by eating, I invented that. <laughs> exactly. All right, I'm curious. No, 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 I, for oh, real. Yes. Um, so I've wanted to write a book since I was three, um, and um, I don't really get into goals. I don't really get into achievements. like. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, if some, if I do something cool, I'm so glad. Um, right. But th but this was like cool. I was like, I really would love to make the list. Um, not only because it just means that we're popular, but I'm uh, I think the book is good. You know, like I, I'm proud of the book. It's a nice book. Right. I mean, yeah. something doesn't have to be war and peace. Right. Yeah. I mean, because let's be honest, it is you and Trixie, so it would just be called war. But war, um, war and peace. Yeah, or, but it can just be fun. And yeah. how funny that it came out at a time when people really need to escape, you know? They really need some fun right now. Yeah. And it's an escape in, inside. It's a going within. Right. It's a return to you, Jackie. Return right. to you. <laughs> yeah, burrito. That's a burrito they have at Chipotle, the cigarette burrito. Yeah. The, taba the tobacco with Tabasco. <laughs> I swear to God, everybody, I just came up with that. Are you a writer? Honey, are you a writer? You should do writing for Hollywood. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Honey, let me ask you something. I'm really curious. How did you come up with your name? Oh, it's really simple and stupid. So it's modeled after... Like Lichter. yourself. <laughs> yeah. Simple and stupid. And stupid. <laughs> um, well, Jackie, I got it. It's, it's modeled after Yelena Zamolochkova, who's a two-time gold medalist at the Olympics. She was on the Russian gymnastics team uh, during 2000, 2004. And um, she was very, like, she was so good, but she made major mistakes. She was, like, really riddled with anxiety. Um, and I just love that it has a really long name. It's a long right. name that people can't pronounce or spell. Um, and then uh, Katya is just because uh, it's just the name. I love it. You're right. It was very simple and very stupid. Stupid. Yeah. It's, I wish but I, I just imagine if you demanded, if you demanded that um, wherever you played, they had to put the entire last name on the marquee. I think that would be hilarious. The full but you, three you, names. You, three names. You got the name to Petrovna. Yeah. It's like a lot of, right. it's a lot of, it's a lot of letters, hon. It's a lot of letters. Jeez. I love how in sort of like in homage to the, um, gymnast that you took your name from while you were answering that question you essentially were doing a little bit of gymnastics and i that observant eye is what i love about you yes yeah <laughs> this is the observant eye and this is the wonky eye yeah, yeah. but you um, know what though I, oh oh yes go, no, ahead. You go ahead you go ahead 
Well, when I so anyways, what I was going to say is that we when I. <laughs> When I interviewed Bianca last week, I had a wonky eye. Something was going on, and she just kept bringing it up. Well, that's that sounds like a that sounds like a like a mean spirited cunt. It sounds oh, like a Bianca, mean yeah. person. Something yeah. you and I can't even relate to. Mary, I'm Nelly Nice. So let me ask you: You do look gorgeous right now. Everyone is commenting on your hair and your outfit and your makeup. But what is the one trend in drag right now? that if you could make it illegal and just make it go away, you would you would do it? You would put it into law? Um, I'd probably say white girls doing baby hairs. White girls doing what? Baby hairs. Oh. Or, I mean, I think sometimes they think they're spit curls. No, I would say, I, well, I used to hate little lashes, but I can't hate on lashes at all. I would say um, one trend that I would get rid of is, um, oh, I'm not a big fan of the, the um, the uh, uh, a porous lip border. Do you know what I mean? Like um, like a uh, there's this. I don't even know if it's like a drag trend or there's like a bloody nose and like a bruised mouth. You mean it's sort of it bleeds, smudged or yeah, yeah. I mean, I've done that look on purpose to like, oh, I just gave twelve blowjobs, kind of as a joke, but. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's why it's a little, it rubs, it, it rubs me the wrong way because it hits too close to home. I mean, was it something you saw Sherry Vine post or? Because she just is always has a dick in her mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, that's speaking good. of Sherry Vine, today's show is brought to you by Sherry Vine's upcoming show. It is a Lady Gaga tribute featuring 17 Lady Gaga parodies. Don't worry, a lot of them are in medleys. It is called Fart Poop, and all the links are in Sherry Vine's social media links. The links are in her, you know what I'm talking about, in her bio. Did you just do a commercial? I had to. She's my best friend. She's my best friend. Well, we talk in the book about how a best, wait, if you're over 30, having a best friend is, is kind of infantile. Really? It's also, if you're a pain in the ass, uh, it's kind of impossible. So maybe you're just trying to put a spin on it. And that's why I love that, that analytic mind. I love that. <laughs> oh my God. So everybody go see Sherry's Vine show, Sherry Vine's shows. You can buy the tickets if you go to her social media accounts and the link is in her bio. But back to the reason you're all here, Katya. This I wanted is Yes, what is that? Can I do a plug? Yes. This is Kim Chi Chic um, Cosmetics, a lovely compact mirror, which features uh, a regular mirror and then way too much magnet, magnet, um, magnification. Yeah. Oh. Um, and then um, she, these are the eyeshadow uh, colors from her and Naomi's palette. Beautiful, green. Gorgeous. And then this is Stacy um, from Trixie Cosmetics. Oh, um, I love it. Love. If you need a really, like a, like a hot, nasty, flashy pink. I'm That's always shocked when, so, you know, like a drag queen or a celebrity puts something out and it turns out to be good. No shit. And speaking of which, stay, yes. hold on to your girdle, bitch. Wait, because... why did you point at me when you said witch? <laughs> no, go ahead. Because uh, we're doing a collab, Tracy and I, a makeup collaboration. Um, we're gonna release a, a red lipstick that is very matte and very lovely and very gorgeous and a little expensive, but totally worth it. And um, I just saw the packaging and it's gorgeous. I nutted. Look. Oh my God, You lost, that was a tuck buster. Just thinking about your new lipstick. Uh, no, it's great. And listen, there's so much crap in the world. There you really is. Too much makeup, too much music, too much yada, yada, yada. Especially with drag. Too much fabric, too much sequence. I don't like to put out shitty products. That's why I don't really do anything. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> this is good and it's great. And, I'm, and I think it's, people don't love it. <laughs> good, well, I hope so. And I love that you guys value yourselves and it's not gonna be, you know, super cheap. You probably spent more. Listen, yeah. the problem is you can make makeup look good, but then you get it home and there's no pigment. Did you see the meatball no. palette from Hip? 
Hip dots. Oh, wow, clown colors, honey, clown It's amazing, colors. and I'm telling you, the glitter actually, oh. sometimes Six. glitter things, you go like that, and it's like, oh, there's no fucking glitter. Like, it yeah. looks like there is, but there isn't. Anyway, yeah. so I'm glad we can't wait for your product. Where can people get it? You know, uh, makeup.com, I don't know. We're oh, okay. cosmetics.com, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares? Whatever. Who fucking Someone cares? just tipped me two dollars. Thank you so much. You're not gonna win the book with that kind of attitude, but thank you. No, I really do appreciate it. All right, this is something I call Wikipedia S or cool. no. Okay. Where you can confirm or deny something I read about you on the internet. Oh, I love rumor, the rumor mill. Let's well, it's not mill. even like shocking or that interest. No. I mean, it's interesting, it's impressive. <laughs> Can you really fluently speak Russian and French in addition to some Portuguese and Japanese? I mean, I've been on tour with you specifically in Amsterdam and bitch, you could barely speak English. Thank you. Um, uh, yes. So how many, how many, so are no. those all the? No, no, it's well, funny. I was just talking about this to somebody today. They're like, you speak five I, languages. I was like, Mary, no, I don't. My, my French is conversational at best. My Russian is rudimentary on a good day. My Brazilian uh, Portuguese is like, I know how to say sit on my face. I know five words for slut. Thank you. Yes, no, the basics. You know um, what I love? That what? Brazilians have five words for slut. Vagabunda, vagia, kenga, rapariga. Yeah, yeah. Senta na minha cara. Um, but they call me vagabunda down there. They call me vagabunda, which is like, you know, whore, slut, whatever. Right, which um, you are. Oh, oh, there's a big difference between a whore and a slut. That's true. Do you charge? Well, funny you should ask, because Mama, and I, I probably told this story a million times, but uh, last time I was in uh, Sao Paulo, I, I hired this hooker. It was 7 a.m. I was not on drugs. And uh, we did this gig until 6 in the clock in the morning, Mary. 6 o'clock in the morning, we left that club. Not on drugs. I was like, and I had said to myself, I'm gonna, it's my last night, I'm gonna get a hooker come hell or high water. This motherfucker walked into the hotel room. I, I opened the door and I was like, the most beautiful, I mean, gorgeous skin, 6'4", like jacked, but not too jacked, like a little layer of fat over the muscle, dick like a kielbasa, booty like a fucking deep freezer hanging out of a minivan. No English. Perfect. Oh my God. Guess how much for an hour? A US potato? dollars. US dollars. 50. <laughs> Five O? Five O. Wow. 200 hey I used, I think is fucking. I have a yeah. friend, I have a friend who goes to Prague and he said, you can get I don't know, is this like cool to talk about? I mean, yes. we, I, I'm all pro sex workers as yes. long as everybody, you know, it's all uh, consensual. He yeah. goes to Prague and you can get these straight, married, like a plumber, you know, like, or some like, just like a, a regular handyman. guy who's gorgeous with everything you just described, but you know, a slightly different color, if you will. Mm -hmm. And, uh, for three days, like the three day weekend for like $75. And he said, and they really treat you like Girlfriend so well. Experience. Like you can pick up on whether a guy is kind of like, I'm just doing this for the money. Let me for get sure. out of here. Yeah. I, you know, no, it's like, honey, they're all the in. full fantasy. The full they're Joe all in. Schmo. Literally, oh, all yeah. in. Do you get it? I did, yeah, penis into the hole. Yeah, I got it. That's not what I meant. I meant like just in the hotel room. Anyway, wow. Okay. Listen. Wow, so long story short. Yes. Uh, no, I'm not. Very like, long, <laughs> thick, veiny, uncut story. <laughs> Mama, he sat on my face and I wanted him to kill me. I wanted to die between those cheeks. I said, sweetie, sweetie, take me now. I have said this so many times. Oh, Sh Sherry said, honey, it should be free if you're wearing a wig. I wasn't wearing a wig. But I always say this. I look at a guy and I can't figure out whether I want to choke to death on his cock 
or suffocate between the cheeks of his ass. Yeah. For me, it's like, always the ass. Choices. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. girl. You're too young to remember them, but I grew up reading teeny, teeny bopper fan magazines I like remember. Tiger Beat. Yeah, so just a few really stupid surface level questions like they used to ask. Okay. We're gonna pretend like I'm a preteen girl reporter and you're some hot pop rock star with your massive junk pushed over to one side in some really tight pants back in the 70s. Let me get on the level, okay? Yeah, let's be on the level with this one. Because these are serious. Yeah. What's your favorite color? Turquoise. Me too. Have you seen my kitchen? I've seen your whole house. It's stunning. Thank you. You're welcome. What's your favorite song? Favorite song? Yeah. Uh, Million Ali Hros by Ala Pugacheva. Didn't get one word of that, but I'm sure someone did. What's your favorite movie? And if you say we... Bian if you say fucking Hurricane Bianca 2, I will- Mama, that's not a movie. That's not a movie. That's a traumatic experience from which I would like to move on. You heard it here first. Fire up that printing press. Extra, extra. No, favorite Shame. movie, um, favorite movie, not best movie, but favorite, my favorite movie, Witches of Eastwick. What is it? The Witches of Eastwick. Oh, yes. See, I have, people have asked me, what's your favorite movie? And my favorite movie is Carrie. Yeah. But my favorite movie that, like, th there's a difference between that, which is my favorite, and the movie that, like, let's say I was on a um, desert island and I could only watch one movie for the rest of my life. Okay. That would be Sunset Boulevard. Oh, see, that uh, Witches of Eastwick is that for me. Okay, that's my, yeah. my favorite film. My favorite film. Oh, film is uh, Mulholland Drive. But my favorite movie is Witches of Eastwick. Have you ever met Rebecca Del Rio? No, but I listen to her tunes all the time. Honey, Rebecca Del Rio. She's usually watching all my shows. We're dear friends. She's such a sweetheart. Jo she's so amazing. Honey. Everybody watch Mulholland Drive so you can hear that song sung properly. Oh, you're so passionate. <laughs> you're so passionate. Okay, listen, bitch. I'm old and I'm fat, so we're going to talk about food now. I want to know your death. Don't eat during it. Are those Starbursts? Yes, but I also have melon for the fatties. Okay. I want to know your death row meal, but I say this every single time. I'm against the death penalty, so we're going to call it the end of the world meal. You just watched MSNBC, and they said that the world is ending in eight hours. What the fuck are you going to eat? Okay. Easy. I'm going to have... Um, Lamb vindaloo cooked to perfection by a five-star Michelin Indian chef. Medium spicy. I want to say that we ate at an Indian restaurant. We ate at a, quite yeah. a few Indian restaurants because yes, it's your favorite. It's my favorite, Jackie. I love my Indian food. It's so delicious. It's okay. Delicious. Um, as an appetizer, I'm going to have a meat samosa uh, as a little nosh. And then um, I'll have a mango lassi. I know this is all, okay, whatever. Um, and then, uh, so, lamb vindaloo, garlic naan, um, basmati rice, and then I'm gonna have a pint of uh, black raspberry ice cream that's handmade from this place called Ullman's in Southboro, Massachusetts. Ullman's, close. And then, um, and then that's it. I think I'm good. That and sounds, then a cigarette. that sounds delicious. Yeah. It really does. And, you know, Maybe after all of that, if there's time, the aforementioned Brazilian cock and ass. Yeah, I just want him to fart in my mouth and I'll just, then I'll kick the bucket. Um, you could fart in my ass too, it's, but I like it. I like to hear it. What is that called? A farting in the mouth. No, when somebody farts in your ass, like do you line your butthole up with, you know? Oh, um, um, uh, um, uh, uh, uh. I forget. Well, I made something up and it probably it really is. You line your butthole up with somebody and you poop right into their butthole and I called it cookie doughing. That's disgusting. It's a joke. 
So we yeah. need to come up with a phrase which Maybe means like, you line your butthole up and you fart into someone. Well, like, it's like an exhaust pipe, right? So it's yeah. like, exa um, what do you call that? Um, it's like when it backfires. Um, well, I, I'll think about it. Uh, that's food for thought. Oh, I like backfiring. OK. Like, well, if back you're into backfiring, backfiring, yeah, hit me yeah. up. Yeah. All right. Um, if you could have a fantasy dinner party with any three people, living or dead, who would you invite? Um, I would say, um, oh gosh, okay, I would do Abraham Lincoln. Um, <laughs> would you force him to watch <laughs> your impersonation of him? Yeah. No. For real, I would, living or dead, living, that's too many people. Yeah, living or dead. So even someone like Lady Bunny. <laughs> who straddles the line. <laughs> right. Someone, who, um, I would say maybe like um, uh, Stalin, Pol Pot, and Gandhi. Wow. I feel like that would be a lot of tension. Wow. Okay. And I don't, I'm not going to, I'm just going to serve I, I, and observe. I'm not going to take part in the conversation. And then I'll kill all three of them. Right. Afterwards. It's so funny. What? What? Excuse, what did you say? What just happened? Oh, you're cutting out. You yeah. know, it always gets so dark with you so quickly. I have said this a million times, but it's so funny that you said Gandhi, because if I had three, you know, celebrities living or dead, I would always invite Kate Moss, Karen Carpenter, and Gandhi. More for me. Oh my God, I know they're just, they'll just fill up on bread. Yeah. Right. It's like they wouldn't eat a fucking thing. <laughs> oh no, I have, I know, I know. Yes. Princess Di. Wow. Mother Teresa. Hello. Michael Jackson and then Farrah Fawcett. You know what, you want to know why? Why? Because they all died around the same time and their one death eclipsed the other. Oh, which is, I, don't. I Cock block my celebrity death, bitch. Girl, Mother Teresa kicked the bucket, and then what? A couple of days later, Princess Di crashed, and then Mother Who? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I'll <laughs> never forget. Raven O, Sherry Vine, and myself were all performing at Bardo in New York on a Sunday, and right before the show, right before the drag show, somebody was like, "Did you hear? Lady Di just was killed in a car accident," and we were like. And then the word spread and the entire room was like, you know, it's like, oh, good times. I know it's, she's, it's a funny thing with her because I, there's nothing funny about like, I mean. There's a bad joke. Well, there, there are bad jokes, but they're very tasteless and they never go over well. They never go over well. Like never. when you say, when you ask people, what's the last thing that went through Lady Di's mind? And you say a tire or something. The windshield, yeah, yeah. or the dashboard. It's terrible. It's like, and I would never say that. I would never stoop so low. But it's not even low because it's not like, ooh. It's just like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's strange. I know exactly what you mean. That's my <laughs> whole career. My whole career is. Well, I had to impersonate her on Drag Race. And I had it in this little bit like uh, comedy uh, musical number. And I was like, how am I supposed to make this funny? There's nothing funny about her. She was a beloved historical figure who'd only died 20 or whatever years ago. Right. And, um, and I was like, this is such a bummer. And um, yeah, I was like, who else is like that? I'm wondering. Like, what other? Me. What, me. Well, you're untouchable, but in a different way. Right. <laughs> but who else is like on? Do you know what no, I mean? No, I know what you mean. They're, they don't, there's no one, I don't think. I don't, yeah. I mean, maybe like Baron Trump. Oh. Because you can't make jokes about him. But is, is, does he have a mental disability? Uh, is he autistic? I, or, or, no. I don't his know biggest disability are his parents, obviously. Well, right. But we must not blame the children for the That's crimes right. of their parents. No, no. You know, uh, Bianca and I went and saw all of uh, Lady Diana's dresses, all the Nolan Millers and stuff. Oh. Very good. At, at Kensington Palace. And the thing is, it's so weird. And I think she will agree with me because we discussed it. When you see it on a mannequin, you're like, ooh, that dress. And then you see her in it and you're like, oh, that dress. She's like, the same fucking dress. Yeah. 
Anyway, so, we so have to keep moving. We only have an hour and we have 15 minutes left. What? I'm just getting started. I know. Listen, if we have to, if it cuts me off, I will bring, you know, I'll just start it right back up. But I try not to do that. Is there a time limit on Instagram Live? How? Yeah, it cuts you off after an hour. <laughs> okay, ready? Ready. Who or what is your spirit animal? Um, I don't. I don't believe in spirit animal. Fair enough. Moving on. Do you believe in word association? Yes, totally. <laughs> Good, because there's nothing like a guest bringing the show to a screeching halt. Um, I'm going to say a name, and you say the first thing that pops into your head. Okay. okay. RuPaul. Wheelchair. I. I don't know why that was in my head before you said it. Sorry. Let's start again. No, I know why. Let's move on. I'll explain later. Okay. Michelle Visage. Corn, corn rolls. Corn rolls or corn holes? Holes. <laughs> corn holes. Trixie Mattel. Bark. Lig, uh, uh, evergreen. Big those trees. Redwood forest. Oh, my God. Huge. La Lady Bunny. Um, yellow crisps. What? Uh, yellow crisps, but not what you're thinking. It's the scabs on your dick after you jerk off for too long. Ladies and Joe, gentlemen, if you're Joe. enjoying yourself, <laughs> if, if, if this is the kind of trash entertainment you like, get yeah. this book and you can get a free copy if you're the highest tipper yeah. today. Be, I know we don't have a lot of time, so before I forget, I just have to mention. Um, okay, keep going. Thank you. You're so <laughs> passionate. You're so passionate. Okay, first thing that comes to your mind when I say Donald Trump. Uh, hot dog. Hot dog. Yeah, yum. Jackie Beat. Um, uh, uh, Billy Joel. Billy Joel the drag. <laughs> what? Okay. Brian McCook. Uh, Catholic. Oh, okay. And one last one, Elena Zamalovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdorovdor
at the, at the well, because I'm, you know, um, right now, at this moment, it's girls rimming. Oh, like straight guys. So there's, um, I think it's called like, it, it's a genre where it's the girl is focused on giving the guy pleasure, like going down on his right. pole. Yeah. It's right. with a special focus on, because sometimes in straight porn, you like, it's a headless, uh, it's just the dick. You don't see the man. Right? I don't like that. I don't either. That's but, why I'm um, not into glory holes. I Jack, need to see the, the man. Mountain. I need to see tell that man. The mountain. Tell it on the mountain. I, it, that it could be attached to anybody. The mayor. Right. That could be my yeah. uncle. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so I like girls rimming and um, watch, like, it's like watch, uh, whatever it's called, yeah. Well, I thought of uh, a, a new genre or sort of a new thing where it's a split screen, sort of a Brian De Palma split screen. And it's a close up of a straight guy who's never had his ass eaten before. And then the other one is, you know, the person who's yeah. eaten his ass. Yeah. Because it's all about that moment like, oh my God, I thought I knew what good felt like. Yeah. I love that. That like I've seen it. There's one I've I haven't been able to find it, but there's a girl. She's blonde. She the, the premise is that like she's gonna do this crazy thing to him. And he's like, That's crazy. That's nasty. I can't believe you're gonna do this. And she a, a switch flips and she goes full Jekyll and Hyde. She becomes an animal spitting just tearing apart his butt and he is like oh my god what the <laughs> it's hysterical wow. it like veers into comedy oh my god but i love a girl with that kind of attitude can do yeah. spirit so do so do men yeah um this one's a little serious Sexy. this one's a little serious i don't want serious moving on no is it serious like um uh, does that have to do with the, like, Syria or, like... Um... No, it says, okay, Corona Cutie 69 asks, what are your feelings about how you you were portrayed in Tix Trixie's documentary? Oh, oh, I, oh that's, I guess that's serious. But um, I, um, I think that, uh, I, I, I mean, it was uncomfortable, but it was the truth, you know? So, yeah. like, I think that it was, like, there were times where I was, like, oh, I wish I hadn't agreed to that. Um, but uh, I think the documentary is good and interesting. Yeah. So, um, and, it, and it's like, that's not even the whole story. You know, that's just like a slice. Of, of course. Life. So. Um, to me, but, it's like a picture of me, you know, fat or when I didn't know how to do my makeup very well. It's like, that was me at the time, whatever. Yeah, that was me when I was a psychotic meth fueled villain, which I say when, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I will never watch it again, that's for sure. It's too painful to watch. Um, well, I'm not in it, and I will never watch it again either. Perfect. Um, this is from I Am A Real Person and Not Just Jackie. They ask, when, will you, when you finally go back on tour, will Jackie be, be your opening act for any of your shows ever? Never. What? Never. Oh, Jackie B? Oh, my God. If anything, I should open for you. Hello. Could I do? I could. I could do concessions at your show. Now that would be fun. <laughs> I'll be the cigarette girl. Here's cigarette Kabuki. Girl. Ready for Kabuki? <laughs> oh yeah. That okay, that's cultural oh. appropriation, oh. and I apologize. Is your makeup Kabuki inspired? Yes. My, Very my, much my so. Chinese friend used, who does like a, um, a, a you know, a, a stylized face would always get that. Is your makeup from Kabuki? You know um, what I got? What? Always. Oh, divine, right? And I'd be like, just because I'm in drag and I'm fat, <laughs> that equals divine. You lazy piece of shit. Yeah. Mom, get out of my room. <laughs> yeah, you uncultured, fucking useless cunt. Thank you. Okay, is this Ivanka? Is this, is this Ivanka or Ivana? Trump? That's Ivana adjacent. Yeah. Okay. Which is good. Because yeah. she at least wised up and took him for a lot of money. Don't get even, get everything. everything. <laughs> 
Um, I'm afraid we're going to run out of time. And I just think it's always anticlimactic when we sign back on. Okay, but so I let's have, just, let's quit while we're ahead. The next few questions are stolen from Vanity Fair, you know, that last page. So let's just do like quickies. Okay. What is your definition of heaven? Um, being dead and not conscious. For real? Just dead. Oh, like you can't over. wait. You can't wait to die, yes. can you? Game over. Yeah. I know a few people like that, and it's so weird to me. Well, I don't, I mean, you know, the, the cycle of life continues. Energy doesn't die, by, but mama, life's out, and then next story. Moving on. Right, okay. I mean, is this story so bad? No, this story's amazing. Look okay, oh, place. good. I, I'm glad to hear that. But who the fuck wants to go up in the sky in a white room with all your dead relatives? Bye, bye, bye. Right. Well, I was going to yeah. ask you, the next question is, what is your definition of hell? Uh, the last 52 minutes. I'm just kidding. Um, I, you know. Um, okay. No. Um, I just want to go on record and say, <laughs> really, all you have is being nice. No. So when you throw that out the door, you're nothing. Nothing. You got nothing, girl. No, I would say um, Panama City Beach. <laughs> oh, my God. Totally. Yeah. Amarillo, Texas. Working with Murray and Peter. Just kidding. How about um, working with Murray and Peter in Panama City Beach? Oh, literally fucking hell. Yeah. Uh, have you fucked any other Drag Race contestants and don't lie because I'll no. know? No. Sister Dick will make you say. Have you wanted to? Uh, I wanted to fuck Trixie for a, a little bit, but yeah, not anymore. When you saw it, when I saw it, I was yeah, I recoiled in horror. Right, right. But I always thought like Evie Oddly is probably like cute boy. Some cute fun, boy. some fun. I'll, I'll give you a list of the ones I would, I would, I mean, you know. Yeah, that's um, what I mean. Evie Oddly, so cute as a boy. Kahana Montrese, total babe. Lanisha Sparks, total babe. Um, Sasha Bell, total like daddy, uh, bear, whatever. Um, and then uh, I, I skip Milk and Pearl because everybody says they're cute. Right. Um, I, I mean, seriously, Milk is, it's I, good. I, it's a male model. It's a male model. Um, and then the last one was, um, oh, Banji. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, everyone's, on. a lot of people have done it. Um, I will never. Yeah. yeah. What about Brooklyn? Pretty, I, you just read my mind. I, I that's saw, a handsome I, man. Yeah, I saw him. And you know who good. else is so beautiful to me? Honestly, I think it's the most beautiful. And it might not even be like I'm sexually attracted, but like Scarlet Envy is fucking oh, gorgeous. Yeah, totally. He's like Ivy Winters and Pearl combined. Ivy Winters is beautiful. And so fucking talented. And Jesus like can Christ. make anything and like raises Mary. chickens. If you, you you make it from scratch, then can it, and then uh, and then like, you know, it's crazy. Exactly. It's crazy. Okay, one last question, and I first of all, I just want to say thank you so much. I adore you. I am going to beat the shit out of myself if I don't mention that I have a show this Sunday called Class Clown because I have class, but I am a clown. It's all new material, all live singing. All uh, the uh, links are in my bios. Please buy tickets, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to stay afloat. But I was going to run this by you in a text before I asked it. And if you don't have one, seriously, be honest. Right. You know, we lost Re Lady Red Couture recently. And I'm just wondering, do you like have a story or like a memory yeah. or want to say anything about her? I do. Was... I do. Yeah. Um, so uh, when I got, um, when I moved back to LA, I had a rehab. When I got out of rehab, I didn't have a job. And I was um, staying um, uh, at Courtney Axe. I was subletting Courtney's place in rehab. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we well, did, we shot a podcast or recorded a podcast. Oh, this, yes, we did, yes. And I was like, I, I had a period of like maybe four months where I was completely manic. And I've never like experienced well, that before. Well, I'm bringing up the podcast in Courtney's old apartment because you couldn't even air it. Oh, oh no, that was earlier. That was, oh, okay. was like, that was, that was in the thick of it. Yeah. Okay. Couldn't even Sorry. string a sentence together. Anyways. So I had a lot of energy. I would bounce out of bed at five in the morning. And then, so I'd walk all the time, walking, walking, walking. And I would see lady red on the street, um, like either by Fubar or by mad men, uh, med men. And you know, I was like a, it was a very troubling period for me. <laughs> And she was just literally a beacon of light. 
and love. And it, it sounds so cheesy, but I was like, just give her a big hug, blah, 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 blah. And, and she would say something, make me laugh. And um, it was just great. It She's doesn't like, sound cheesy at all. Anyone who met her knows that was the energy she just literally radiated. Yeah. So it makes perfect sense. And yeah. 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 So it's, it's a lesson that. that, you know, we need to enjoy each other and enjoy right now. And I enjoy you so much. And I love you so much. I hope everyone will run out and buy this book. No, no joke. It's real. I, no, seriously, there are no jokes in it. No um, jokes. No, seriously. No, and the highest tipper will win this autographed book. And I want you to know that I'm going to post the um, rerun of this. So the contest, as far as the tip is concerned, will go for another 24 hours. So until 6 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow, which is Thursday. I want you to just do that. I want you to do that until we get cut off. Will you sing with my eyes? Do this again? Yeah, okay, okay. I'll do. Все был художник один, домик имел и холсты. Он Лакрису любил, ту, что любила свети. Он тогда продал свой дом, продал картины и кровь. И на все деньги купил целая море цветов. Миллионы, миллионы, миллионы алих роз. Oh my fine. God, seriously, that is such a thing that I would have done when I was eight years old and just thought it was the funniest thing ever. Right, like technology, wow. Katya. <laughs> Thanks, Jack, yeah, I love you so much, I really do. I love you and I'm so glad you're doing well and I'm so glad that you seem happy and healthy and productive and creative and everything you were fucking born to be, bitch. All joking Whoa. aside. Yeah, thank you so much. And you are right, looking honey. fine. What? No, no, you look great. <laughs> I'm removing that bitch. <laughs> it was so good and then she had to be mean. Anyway, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we have very, 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 very little time left, a little more than a minute. Katya, all joking aside, I do love you. And I meant everything I just said, which is I'm so glad you're happy and healthy and really, really doing what you're supposed to do, which is making people laugh and helping them escape from the ugly, ugly parts of this world. And speaking of ugly parts, everybody can order this book. If you happen to be the highest tipper, you will win this. It is autographed. Let me show you. Proof, legal proof. I think it might be backwards. I do have a show, ladies and gentlemen. Go to the link in my bio on all my social media accounts and uh, buy a ticket. Sherry Vine has her show, Fart Poop. It's hilarious. If you like comedy and Lady Gaga, then this is the show for you. Go to her uh, social media accounts and uh, click on the link. And please visit MissJackieBeat.com for MP3 downloads of all my sick and twisted song parodies and great merch. And I'm available for cameos because times are tough, ladies and gentlemen. So I really, really need you to do it. Bye-bye!